The latest report by Geopol on reproductive health has revealed that about 60% of young people wished that there was more education on reproductive health. Majority of young boys and girls want to learn more about contraceptives, sex and also menstrual cycle. If you had a second chance as a teenager, what would you have wished you knew? As in your connection, you cut off this is the question we posed to this group of young people. Their wishes leaving us confused on whether they knew anything concerning reproductive health. And I wish I knew or I had information back then that it's, it's okay to be pregnant and go back home and come back to school. My challenge was particularly understanding the changes. These are happened uh, between the age of 10 and 14. That's an adolescent age when one I can remember my mom was communicating to me indirectly and misinforming me. In, uh, for example, when I was in primary school, I started my menses and my mom was like, when you're on your menstruation, you should not talk to boys or you should not even go to school. How am I supposed to treat a lady like now? And for instance, um, when it comes to now sexual advances, <laughs> right now we have um, um, like the acts that are protecting the ladies now, um, that the things that we used to do back then uh, uh, when we were boys, like right now, <laughs> <laughs> like whistling, uh, mama, you know, such stuff. Right now, it's, it's termed as sexual harassment. Most girls wishing they had an idea on what menstrual hygiene was all about. My mom was telling me that after now you've had sex and you've not told me that you're pregnant and you go ahead using the contraceptives, um, they will make you barren. The boys, on their part... The boy child has been neglected. It's evident. Uh, because much of the attention has been given to the girl child. For some reason, the girl child is advantageous because, you see, girl, uh, girl, the girl child uh, uh, can go to clinics for maybe some checkups on, or such. And on the process, some uh, reproductive health issues can be addressed there. But why is this so? Because mm. uh, the parents, uh, uh, one of the logic thing is that if a parent, a parent doesn't know anything, if a teacher doesn't know anything, they won't admit. They won't admit that they don't know. So they'll punish you. Some counties literally, for real, for real, people don't have information. They don't know what to do, they don't know their rights when you're raped, you don't know where to go, what to do. A survey by Jopo conducted between March and April this year reveals that 62% of young people learn about menstruation in school, while only 12% learn from their parents. In the findings, sex education, contraceptives, menstruation and gender equality are among top issues lacking attention. This new era, they need to get this information so as as well we will feel safe because there is no way me I'd converse with my mom or with my dad, sorry to say so, if they'll be watching that is. Purity Museo Channel 1 News, Nairobi.